So, this is like take number five, six, I don't know. Um, eight. <laughs> We're just wanting to make a quick little video. This is our first time making a video on YouTube. Uh, this is not our first time making a video, though. And we're making some, uh, well, I mean, making, what we're doing is we have gone out in the yard. We, this is our new house that we just moved into. And we have a yard here that is springing up everywhere with spring. And it is producing a lot of this flower, little flower called. Dead nettle. Purple dead nettle. And Olivia, why don't you grab some of the hen bit real quick and show them. So when you're forest, foraging for some purple dead nettle, you may also notice um, another one growing close to it, a plant called similar hen bit. called henbit. Hen bit. So this is the henbit here, and then show side by side the, the dead nettle. There you go. See the dead nettle, um, it has kind of a shady purple on it, and the henbit has a very light green on it. Exactly. Very the exposed green. green whereas and your... you'll notice that the henbit has a circular stem and this has a square stem so yeah. like if you're hurt and you get a stung by a bee you can take it and rub it on your skin and um you can take it and slide it just like you would like a credit card to get a sting out of your skin and you use that that square little piece right there and you would take it and drag it across your skin oh and also just and like here show them how you do it baby show them how you show like this on here See, it'll take, oh, pretend there's like a, um, a, a bite right so there. So you would just drag it across the skin like and that. And yep. take it out. Also, then you can you take can, this after that. You can use these to heal your, um, your wound. Yep, exactly. So this is the purple dead nettle. What we've done, we harvested some and we've been just taking it out of here, pulling off the, the, the tops, we'll call them and then putting the stems over here and we're going to take the stems and freeze them probably and just make use them smoothies. make smoothies whatever put them in soups then we have these tops here i'm going to dehydrate you can also put in soups um but mostly i'm going to use them t for tea for the purple dead nettle tea I got and um <clears throat> That's it. We just wanted to make a quick little video and share with you guys what we are doing in this time. Oh, and shalom. Um, as we sit out here, just um, enjoying this peaceful evening. It stopped raining, and we're. Um, I just got off work, and we're just hanging out. And this is we're coming at you from uh, Arkansas area, and uh, yeah, it's just a suggestion of something to do. Like I mean, a lot of people have this. It grows all over the world so <laughs> go find some purple dead nettle um we wish you shalom peace and joy and um in this time is this is the time to celebrate and worship our our creator yahuwah and uh go out and look at the creation around you and find things that you can eat because it's a good thing to do right now um yeah make the best of your time and that's all. Olivia, last words? Um, what about for all those kids that are going to have to do schoolwork from home that aren't used to that? What do you think about that? Um, I think it is not fair. <laughs> and those teachers need to regret what they did. Well, it's not the teacher's fault. Well, they made the work. So we feel like we should be sitting at home just doing no work. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and we should have fun. By the way, I need to get my homework done. <laughs> well, we're having spring break right now, so we're going to get on it next week. But, um, yeah, all of a sudden we have a lot of people who are homeschoolers now, and it's, uh, it's interesting. So, um, yeah, here's something you can do with your kids. Get out and find some of this stuff harvest it and dry it if you don't have a dehydrator throw it in the oven on a pan after you washed it and everything uh for like um, 250 for like about 30 40 minutes i don't know just watch it keep checking it until it's dry and um that's it all right signing off um i asked if i could say something it's still going but go ahead oh, um and in case if you're wondering what my what my mom is wearing on her head it is a head wrap because we celebrate Shabbat, and if y'all are people that do Hebrew stuff like that, if you le live, I think it's called the Easton neighborhood, um, well, you can come over here. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right, that's enough of that. <laughs>
We would love to have the whole world come and join us for Shabbat, but that's not going to happen. So thank you, baby. If you celebrate Shabbat and you live in this neighborhood. Well, okay. We don't, they don't know our neighborhood, though. So. We got familiar. <laughs> All right. Um, we mainly make this just for fun because we've never done it before. And we just wanted to put it out there and encourage the believers um, those who are going through all of this together, we are all, no matter where you come from, we're all going through this. So, um, stand tall and take pride in knowing that you are a child of Yahuwah and, um, claim, proclaim that and claim it and do not fear. All right. All right. All right. Bye.